Kendrick Lamar speaks at 2024 Compton College communication ceremony. Boy, there's so many C's in there. Out here, it's not only a representation. See, I ain't go to Compton the College. World, but it's a representation of me. Mm. When I walk out in these cities and these, these, these countries, I could be proud and say, this is where I'm from. Yeah. You know? I still believe in Compton. Compton always been the future. The reason why why people are calling somebody like Drake a pr uh, uh. <laughs> actually that's not why they call him that. I was gonna say like a vulture. I guess it is predatory going to these people stealing their sounds because a part of the sound, a part of the culture, part of the vibe of what's going on comes from the people and. It all does actually comes from the people and the experience that be the good, bad, and in between. And so when you see people like Kendrick who has made some money off of like Compton, I guess not really off of that, but you know what I mean? Like he's he's talked about Compton. He's made songs named Compton. He probably has merch that has the name Compton on there. The fact he's always there to give back, he is there to try to make his community better is what sets people apart. Intentions become very important in life and action without, you know, intentions without action is meaningless. But when you have both, that's when something great happens. We see Kenny doing something great right here. Fun. I think we breathe some of the most Incredible individuals, creators, yeah. intellectuals, yeah. Uh, talent. Yeah. We had it since day one. I, that's why I always screamed this city. Mm. I've traveled the world. There's no place like this one right here. No place. There's no place like no place. Home, man. And I still believe, I still believe in everything that we're doing. Brick by brick, I still believe. It's time that we change Me and Screw there. about to go see uh, 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 Kendrick on his Juneteenth concert. I think, like, honestly, my only gripe with Kendrick that I genuinely can say I've ever had is, man, I wish we could have got more music from you. But I understand when you're creating something, when you're creating Damn or Good Kid Mad City, it's going to take a while to cook up because how amazing of a body of work it is and there's themes and settings that you're going to have to be writing all the way through. It's going to take some time, right? The right production, all them kind of joints. But what he means for hip hop, what it means that Kendrick is, is right now running with it in hip hop, is you can just see the shift. You can see lyricism and stuff like that that I feel like a lot of us, and, and when I say us, I mean us. Nigga, I'm not above nobody. A lot of us shifted away from for a little bit. We stopped with this stop being the thing, and niggas, it got to real uh, 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 niggas rapping about strippers and, and, and female rappers rapping about throwing that ass back, and niggas got lost away from the sauce. I would never say lost in the sauce. We got lost away from it. Kenny came back with records like Not Like Us, like Euphoria and all that. And even though those were in diss tracks, it caused Drake to rap again. It caused Cole to rap. You had niggas like everybody, the culture who had moved and said, yo, we want bars again. That's what you mean to the culture. That's what Kendrick deserves his flowers. What he did on this last run is... Silence niggas like me, silence people, a lot of people who were on the fence on where he lies historically, where Kendrick lies, because we were always going to say he was a great rapper, Hall of Fame, but is he Mount Rushmore? 100%. 100% Kendrick Lamar is Mount Rushmore of hip-hop now. It is. You know, some people tell us, you know, this generation they don't have what it takes. Gen Z, we talk about it all day. They try to pull us down and say we don't know what we're doing. Mm. They wrong though. Yeah. You know why? Because not only y'all have what it takes, but y'all have something even bigger. Y'all have the heart. Y'all had the courage to be independent thinkers. Independent thinkers. It's nothing more valuable than that. Y'all can go out here and tell and express your thoughts and say it with conviction and passion and stand on it and be unapologetic about it. And somebody pull you to the side, you know what? You was wrong about that. And you could be like, I appreciate it. You know? Or they could say, I appreciate you for giving me the wisdom and the courage to be just as much as in depth and, 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 and you know, strong with conviction about the message that you have. And it spreads not only between the person you're talking to, but subconsciously through kids that's younger than yourselves.
and like the spirit he's talking about, the spirit of the youth and and the importance of the youth. It's I think like sometimes families or even the world the world we don't embrace youth the way we should. I think that there's youth, there's going to be like a divide like this some old nigga shit, this some young nigga shit. This is this is some both ways. When you're young, you don't want to be old. When you're old, you sneak you want to be young, but then you like it builds like some sort of resentment for some old niggas, not all of them. Some niggas, you know, I'm 26 now, I'm chilling. I'm an old nigga. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? But we don't embrace it. People don't. Instead of for us to, man, this new generation so soft, man, they get participation trophies, which in a lot of ways they do. Nigga, take your hand out and help God because the world is supposed to become a better and better place. It is supposed to become, we are no longer supposed to be in, in like a wild jungle no more. So it's supposed to get better and better. You should hope that the next generation of society has to deal with less bullshit adversities. We all did that shaped our character. There's a lot of responses we have for things, way we look at people based off of race, the way we look at people that are based off are, are like trauma responses. Motherfucker been dealing with a lot of racism his whole goddamn life. Can you blame him to think that the next time he runs into a nigga, he's going to be treated in a racist way? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get it. But we try not to because I understand the vice versa of that. The other end of that argument does is the same way that someone would be racist if you dealt with some, oh, the first three black people I dealt with are bad. So I understand that we shouldn't think in absolutes and I think we shouldn't do these. Yeah, but this is great. Get out there and teach your kids. Let's really make the world, because niggas don't know, like, bro, I wouldn't, nigga, I done been in solitary confinement. I done been on probation. I done been in jail. I done been shot at. I done been stabbed. Nigga, I'm not wishing that on nobody's kids. I'm not wishing that on my kids. Why the hell would I want somebody to go through? That's just stupid. I'm I'm cool. I'm happy I made it to where I'm at right now at this very moment. But, nigga, there's a lot of head bumps that nobody has to do to get here, right? You don't need to bump those heads in them certain type of ways. Or, or like Hope said, nigga, I did it so you didn't have to, baby. Yes. And that's something I can always appreciate. Mm. This degree that y'all have right here mm. is just as big as any degree. I don't care what school, I don't care what institution. And I also I have to say, I think there's a thing we do as like entrepreneurs or young or hustlers, right? People like me who doesn't have a degree who is making a living. Sometimes we, we do this shit where it's like you don't need college. Yes, you can be successful if you never go to college. Yes, you could be success 100%, but we should stop acting like saying you don't need college because for a big majority of people, they do. A lot of reality says that not everybody's going to be born with necessarily a talent or even identify their talent in enough time or identify a way to monetize their talent. Not everybody's going to figure that out. So... What college does is gives you a pathway to figure it out, and I think it's good. And I think you should push on continued education. And I think that if if nothing else, you'll be better for just obtaining more information. But we shouldn't. We should stop that. College isn't good. And this is a nigga who ain't go to college. You know what I'm saying? I was playing that corner. You got to. You got to. You got to speak thinking. That, like, treat it like your kids is listening sometimes. I don't got kids, but treat it like your kids is listening when you speak for the next generation. Because you would realize we would we would have so much better conversations and we would bridge so many more gaps and we would just be better. Nigga, let's equip the next, the next tropes. Let's get them ready. Cool, I don't care what institution. Compton College, this Compton degree is just as big. Tell them. Tell them. Cops, nigga. I think Kendrick, about make you want to be from Compton. Taking what you learned and applying them. It's simple as that. And applying them. You go have hardships. Every individual out here is experiencing a human Facts. life, a human experience, and God Facts. is experiencing it with you. And you definitely got to go out there and do something with it. You know what I'm saying? I know some niggas with some fine arts degrees 
that boy, they might as well have not went to college. I do know a couple of niggas like that. But like Kenny said, go out there and apply it. Go out there and nigga, you never bro, niggas is getting rich selling Q tips. Get it how you live out here, man. There's there's opportunities for motherfuckers out here. You can if you believe you can. Life a human experience and God is experiencing it with you. So when you go through things, he's going with it. He's right there with you. He's talking to you. All mm. you gotta do is talk back. Mm. I walk on the beach every day and I'm talking to God. I'm just talking. Like he the homie, I swear to God, I put that on my grandmama grave. I mm. talk to him. Next to me. Oh no, nigga. This nigga Kendrick is such a goat. Then he's going over here telling these young kids that they gotta get right with God. Niggas is scared to say shit like that. Niggas is scared to really put their faith out there. And but he's doing it for the betterment. He's not this isn't like he's not like a missionary or nothing like that. That's not what he's doing. He's just putting it out for the betterment. For the betterment. For the betterment. I talked to him. That niggas. <laughs> niggas are so undefeated. Niggas just so entertaining. He can't help but be entertaining. This nigga he just got hot. You start saying, you like, damn, nigga, you be talking to God every day on the beach? Then you know what I started thinking? God damn, you know you're getting money when every day you just get to go walk on the beach. That's why niggas love the West Coast so much. Y'all living exotic out there. I'll be real. The beach every day. And I'm talking to God. I'm just talking. Like he the homie. I swear to God, I put that on my grandmama grave. I talk to him. Mm. Next to me. Mm. Like the homie. Mm. Just like the people that you grow up with. You, I don't care if you got a curse. You, you got a cuss. You got. You talk to him as if. Come as you, know, you is. You know what I'm saying? Know him since you was born. The way he knows you. It's the truth. Mm. Oh, place. this nigga's cooking, I want bro. To go out here, celebrate yourselves, enjoy yourself, but keep that spirit within you. Because it don't stop from here. It don't stop. I love y'all. The face of our culture right now, man. That was a certified vibe. Check cause another reaction by me right here. Big music video by me right there. Bow. Click on it. I'ma go live tomorrow. That being Sunday. Tap in. I'ma have some choices for y'all. Follow me on X. Cable family love y'all. I'm out.